Welcome back guys, my name is Jamie. I'm a senior software engineer. So if you're new here, I am actually going over software design patterns uh, in this little series. So right now we are going to talk about the decorator design pattern. What is it and what is the purpose of it and how exactly is it done? So in the last uh, video, we talked about the template method design pattern. And in this one, it's just all about the decorator design pattern. So without further ado, let's get started. So the decorator design pattern, what it does is it allows a user to add new functionality to an existing object without altering the structure. So what does that mean? Well, let's just uh, jump straight in. So let's say we had a car. So we're gonna create a class of a car. And this car can drive, of course, right? So let's just create the drive method. So we're going to return driving. Okay. This car can reverse, of course. Reversing. What else can it do? Um, I guess we can keep it as simple as this and then move forward. So let's say we have this car class and these are the uh, functionalities that this car has, right? So what happens in the event that we want to instantiate this car, we're going to say something like const car equals new car. Okay. But now we can do a console.log and we can call the car dot drive method, for example. And if we did this correctly, there it is now the car is driving and then similarly we can reverse the car so if we did reverse it is reversing cool so now let's just say we wanted to create a brand new type of car and this car is called a toyota okay so now we just created a toyota but we're going to extend the behavior of this car class okay and then first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a constructor method here and what we want to do is we want to pass in a type of car into the constructor. And then we're going to have a property up here. We're going to call that car. And that should also be a type of car. So here we can say something like this dot car is equal to car, which is uh, referencing the car parameter that we passed into the constructor. And then right above it, we can pass in the super so we can inherit everything. Perfect. So now that we did this, we created this, uh, new Toyota car. Okay. But how do we use it? So what ends up happening is let's just pretend we are going to not pretend let's override the reverse method. So what we do is we're going to actually create a function. We're going to call it reverse inside of this reverse function. We are going to be returning reversing with a backup camera. Okay. So in this brand new Toyota car that we just created, we are going to be reversing with a backup camera. Okay. So all we have to do in this decorator pattern is wrap this car around the Toyota. So by us doing this, we can leave this line of code as is we're calling the car dot reverse function. What it's going to do is it's going to override the original car functionality for reversing. So now you see that it's reversing with a backup camera. So this is what the decorator design pattern does. It basically allows you to wrap a new class around an old class and you're able to override certain, I guess, functions within the new class. And that's pretty much what the decorator design pattern does. The cool thing about it is I can keep going. So let's just say now I am releasing a, instead of a Toyota, we're upgrading to a Lexus, which is one of the more advanced Toyota models. But now here we're reversing with a backup camera and side sensors. Okay. So now if we do a wrap around here, we say new Lexus because the Lexus is nothing but a Toyota. Okay, and a Toyota is nothing but a car. So now if we run this code, 
you see we're reversing with a backup camera and side sensors. So this is the decorator design pattern. I hope you guys learned something. I hope uh, you're able to understand exactly what this is and how it's done and what it's used for. So again, the purpose of this is so that you don't have to modify any of the logic in the previous class without touching it. You can basically update the functionality of it easily and just use a wrapper. So there it is, guys. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit me with a like, comment below, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. I'll be making another video on a different design pattern next. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.